on the beautiful shores of the eastern Mediterranean, Europa, the daughter of Agenor, the king of the city of Tyre, possessed a captivating beauty that caught the attention of the gods. Europa's radiant skin and captivating gaze were legendary. Europa, who loved to wander and have fun, would rise early in the mornings and immediately call her friends. Together, they would go to the gardens where roses bloomed and the waters murmured sweetly. One day, while Europa and her friends were gathering flowers in the gardens by the sea, Zeus noticed Europa. Impressed by Europa's radiant beauty and beautiful eyes, the chief god of Olympus was greatly pleased. To avoid arousing suspicion from his wife Hera and not to alarm the shy Europa, Zeus transformed himself into a bull. He began to roam around the garden where the girls were picking flowers. Europa saw this magnificent white animal. She made a crown of flowers for the bull and placed it around its horns. She mounts this seemingly gentle creature, and the bull suddenly starts moving towards the water, carrying the princess towards Crete. When they reached the island of Crete, Zeus, in his godly form, reveals himself to Europa. Europa falls asleep in the arms of Zeus, and from this love, the first and best of all world kings, Minos, is born. Because of the shade it provided at the place where this happy union took place, the plane tree never sheds its leaves since that day. Zeus, fearing his wife Hera, must conceal his relationship with Europa. He arranges a marriage between Europa and King Asterion of Crete. Asterion raises the three sons born from Zeus's union with Europa, Minos, Sarpedon, and Radamanthes. From these children, Minos, who became a half-human, half-bull creature known as the Minotaur, also gets his name. To immortalize Europa's story and his relationship with her, Zeus transforms the bull he took the shape of into a constellation and places it among the stars in the sky. And this bull becomes the symbol of the constellation Taurus.